Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Youssef. The Interior Minister, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, asserted that the establishment of diplomatic ties with Israel comes to protect the supreme interests of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The minister said that the move doesn't mean neglecting the Palestinian cause and the rights of Palestinians, but it reinforces the security of Bahrainis and the solidity of their economy, adding if Palestine is our Arab cause, then Bahrain is our faithful cause. He affirmed that the kingdom has been standing with the Palestinian cause since the beginning of the Palestine-Israel conflict, and the decision won't clash with Bahrain's stand towards the Arab Peace Initiative and the international decision. He said that after 73 years of the Palestinian cause, the threats have moved to Arab countries, in which their security situations have changed in different ways. He noted that the chances of peace solutions reduced and that the fateful challenges reached the region and cannot be ignored or overlooked. He stressed that the regional situation makes Bahrain deal with ongoing threats for the past years, in which most of them were deterred, adding that it isn't wise to see the threats and wait for them to reach the kingdom, especially if they can be avoided. He continued that Iran has chosen the behavior of imposing domination in many forms, and it is an ongoing threat to our internal security. He added that Bahrain is determined to develop national capabilities and strategies based on strong allies to confront potential threats. Sheikh Rashid said that the kingdom depends on developing its national capabilities on the Gulf and Arab depth and international partnerships, adding that taking similar steps of the UAE isn't a stranger matter, as it affirms the strong historical ties between the two brotherly countries. He said that there is no doubt that cooperation on such a project would reinforce the depth of strategic partnership with the United States that takes Bahrain as the headquarters of its Fifth Fleet Command. He highlighted that the current general economic situation that impacts Bahrain and negatively affected the economic and social life gives more responsibility to the state to provide security and decent living to people. He stressed that it isn't part of Bahrain's strategic views and capabilities to adopt strategic stands and then take opposite procedures later, because it is a geographical, security and economic situation that requires a swift response and any delay would have major circumstances. More welcoming statements were issued following the tripartite statement, which included the establishment of full diplomatic relations between Bahrain and Israel. The Grand Mufti of Central Religious Administration of Russian Muslims, Salgat Tajuddin, also congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion and described this initiative as logical and bold, as peace as an understanding must be established in these holy lands. The president of the Institute of Oriental Studies at the Russian Academy of Sciences, Professor Vitaly Nomkin, described Bahrain's declaration of peace with Israel as a sovereign decision, adding that no other country has the right to oppose it. The representative of the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of Antioch and all the East, Bishop Nevin Sikali, praised the courageous initiatives of His Majesty the King to bring peace and harmony in the region and the world through his policies and projects to establish dialogue and coexistence between states, civilizations, and religious. A number of U.S. Congress members praised the declaration of support for peace between Bahrain and Israel, describing it as an important step towards peace and stability in the region. Congressman Denver Regelman said it is a big step forward towards peace in the Middle East. Senator Kelly Loeffler said that the declaration is another historic step towards greater peace and stability in the Middle East. Congressman Al C. Hastings commented on the welcomes the, and welcomes the decision. Senator Tom Cotton also said that the agreement is a vital step towards peace in the Middle East region. Representative Mario diaz Bellart welcomed the announcement, stressing that the strengthening of relations is good news for the world and for those who desire peace. Representative Tim Burchette described the announcement as representing progress towards achieving peace and peaceful stability in the Middle East. Senator John Huffman welcomed the news and expressed appreciation for the efforts made by Bahrain and Israel to reach this agreement, in addition to the strong diplomatic work of the Trump administration. Representative Greg Staub tweeted that such agreements have paved the way for peace in the Middle East and Representative Darren Soto said that it is a continuous and important progress for peace in the region. Representative David Schwickert said the agreement will be positive for the entire region and Lee Zeldin said that the agreement represents a continuous progress in the peace mission. 
Representative Chuck Fletchman also expresses happiness to see steps towards peace and Representative Mike Waltz welcomed the announcements as well. Senator Rick Scott said that the announcement is a historic moment aimed at ending decades of turmoil in the Middle East region. The executive president of the American Jewish Committee, David Harris, said they welcome the changes taking place in the Middle East, which seek more peace, cooperation and prosperity. Bahrain took a historic step in announcing the declaration of peace with Israel, which will contribute to enhancing peace and stability, as well as opening up wider horizons of cooperation in the region. More in this report. This historic step comes from the kingdom's belief in the establishment of a just and comprehensive peace in the Arab region, while adhering to the Arab policy based on supporting the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people. Promoting peace efforts and opening horizons of stability in the region and the world is the goal of the Kingdom of Bahrain, and this step will pave the way to achieve it. Bahrain paved this path with courageous decisions prioritizing the Palestinian people by declaring support for peace in the region. The Kingdom has always been proactive in spreading the culture and ideas of peace, and the step to support peace with Israel affirms Bahrain's firm and permanent stance towards the rights of the brotherly Palestinian people and their need for obtaining their full legitimate rights. The Kingdom of Bahrain added its efforts to those of the UAE in defending the causes and interests of the nation and obtaining the rights of the Palestinian people. The Kingdom also supports the efforts of all our partners in seeking to reach a peaceful solution that protects the interests of the Palestinians. The declaration to support peace with Israel does not contradict Bahrain's commitment to the Arab Peace Initiative and the decisions of international legitimacy. The Kingdom of Bahrain takes its decisions based on its national and Arab constants and its supreme security interests. Among those constants are the Palestinian rights that cannot be waived. This historic step taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain comes from the wise vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to achieve a just and comprehensive peace in the Middle East through establishing diplomatic relations with Israel in order to achieve a safe and more stable future for all people in the region. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, stressed that the wise approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa highlighted the Kingdom's pioneering status in a solid democracy, continuous achievements and clear community partnership in a comprehensive development process. She held the effects of cooperation between the Representatives Council and the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. She said that the International Day of Democracy is coinciding with Bahrain's declaration of support for peace, confirming the Kingdom's keenness to support peace and stability efforts and to promote the principles of openness and the values of peaceful coexistence. She said that the National Action Charter and the Constitution of Bahrain affirm the consolidation of democracy and freedom and that people are the source of authority. Zainal noted that celebrating Democracy International Day under this year's slogan, COVID-19, Spotlight on Democracy, is an opportunity to present the efforts, actions and achievements of the government to promote democracy and spread awareness despite the impact of virus on the whole world. Zainal hailed the great societal contributions of the Supreme Council for Women headed by Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, emphasizing on Bahraini women and facing challenges, providing services and supporting workers in the front lines, in addition to the prominent role of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation headed by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, affirmed that the democratic approach of His Majesty the King is based on a wise vision and a solid foundation. He added that the support of His Majesty the King to the legislative authority has laid the foundation to further advancing the Kingdom's democratic achievements. In a statement on the occasion of the International Day for Democracy, Al Saleh highlighted the directives of His Majesty the King that called for maintaining the march of the Kingdom despite the global coronavirus pandemic to both preserve the health and safety of all citizens and residents and maintain the national sustainable development efforts. 
The Shura chairman valued the adoption of several programs and plans by the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He added that the kingdom is celebrating the International Day of Democracy with the world at a time when Team Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, is continuing to exert efforts to combat the coronavirus by providing health care to all citizens and residents, which is an integral part of democracy. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,548 with 523 recoveries, 685 registered new cases and 82 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 570 are contacts of active cases and 6 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.